Hi, Jim Harder from Route 66 Tactical in Tempe, Arizona. I want to talk to you a little bit about who we are. We are a professional training organization that specializes in everything from the novice shooter to the professional police officer and everything in between. We do competition training. We offer training for the concealed weapons holder. We offer training for unarmed and armed security guards for the state of Arizona. One of the biggest issues we're hearing nationwide from our clients is simply one thing. The cost of training is too high. At Route 66 Tactical, we took that to heart. And in 2014, we just bought a brand new laser shot simulator for you folks. It's an awesome, awesome piece of equipment that allows you to train in a safe environment so there's no workers' comp claims typically, okay? That's always a good thing as a business owner. And you can stand in an air-conditioned environment and get the basics down before we take you to the range. What is laser shot? First off, let's get this on the table. It is not a video game. This thing costs thousands and thousands of dollars. It's a professional firearms simulator, taser simulator, and pepper spray simulator. One of the things at RIT 66 we did a little differently was we added the taser simulator, we added the pepper spray simulator because we believe you need to train with your entire duty belt because the firearm is a tool of last resort. Why a professional simulator? With ammunition costing 25 to 50 cents per round, you can see how that's going to add up very quickly. Before we take you on live fire on the range, come in, use our laser shot simulator, practice with your firearm, get your marksmanship down, get your timing down, learn how to use your sights, your trigger control, your reset, control that breathing, learn how to use the pistol with the laser shot simulator, save your money from ammunition so when you go to the range, the ammunition that you do bring is shot at the range and it's very effective. We're not teaching you necessarily to shoot at the range. You've already got those basic skills and they're solid and now we're taking you to the range to make it very effective training. Talking about the laser shot cert pistol that is authorized by Glock. On the left you see a factory Gen 4 Glock 17. It's got a few Tango Down Victor's tactical accessories. Other than that it's all factory with some different night sights. We've got the magazine here on the Glock 17. We've got the magazine on the Glock Cert pistol from LaserShot. They're almost identical in weight when they're both fully loaded. One of the things that we love about the Glock Cert pistol is, is when we talk about the trigger on the real Glock, and here I'll just show you. The gun is clear, there's no magazine in it, so just everybody knows we're dealing with a safe firearm. Is the trigger. On the Glock 17, one thing we like about it is the positive factory trigger. It's a striker fired pistol, it's easy to teach people to shoot, and one of the nice things is when you pull the trigger on that, it's nice and smooth. When you reset the trigger, you hear the audible, you feel it. On the Glock Cert pistol, it's very similar. You don't have to move the slide, this is a non-recoil version, they do offer a recoil version, but when you pull the trigger, you hear the audible. On the simulation, you hear the bang like you would on a real firearm. When you let up, you feel the positive reset. Great, great replication for a simulations pistol. We highly recommend it. One other thing that we love about the Glock Cert pistol is if you own a light, bring it to class. We can mount it on your firearm and as long as it fits within one of the holsters we have or you have, you can train with it. So with this light, it would just snap right on here. We're fully able to use the light that we carry on duty. We have the Taser X26. It's the exact same Taser X26 that most officers carry on duty. It's got the laser. It's got the battery life indicator. It uses your standard batteries or your XDM batteries. You can mount your camera to it as well. The cartridges are specific to the training device. But other than that, exact same weight fill. It is authorized by Taser for laser shot. Fits in your standard holsters. This one happens to be a Blackhawk holster. But if you have any other kind of holster that fits your Taser currently, it's going to fit. So you can train with what you already have. On the right, you have a Sabre Red Crossfire can. At Route 66 Tactical, on our laser shot device, on our simulator, we have the actual pepper spray canisters as well. Train with your entire duty belt, your firearm, your taser, and your pepper spray. On one end of the spectrum, we have judgmental shit. Officers, officers, hey listen, my neighbor lives here. I keep hearing a lot of noise coming from the inside. I think it's her sister again. Her sister's always over here causing trouble. Listen, I, it's my neighbor. I care about her, okay? Can, can you just go and see? Sure, we're going to see what's going on. Officer, thank God you're here. Yeah, I need to get this. And she needs to leave. I have asked her to get out of my house. She's up here. She's hopped up on drugs. 
Man, she's in here she? trying to get money for me so she can go out and score some more, and I want her okay. out of my house. Oh, I've got Sarah, children. Hey, do me a favor. Okay, really. It is Take not your hands. Show me your hands. Get away from the knife. Get I'm away from the knife. More drugs. You need to get out. Get away from, from the knife on the table. It's okay. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. She just, I just told her. Put the scissors she needs to down. Get out of here Put the scissors she down. Me. She told me she Put the get scissors out. down. Why did you have to shoot her? God. The great thing about our laser shot simulator is we have the simulation devices for taser, pepper spray. So we have the lawn less lethal options. In this instance here, you're going to see, I'm going to go to the X26 taser as a less lethal option instead of my firearm. Do me a favor. Take your hands away from that pair of scissors. trying to tell you. Take your hands away from that pair of scissors. You need to get out. Ma'am, take your hands away from that pair of scissors. Take your hands away from that pair of scissors. Taser, taser, taser. What did you do? Do me a favor. Get your hand away from the scissors. Get your hand away from the scissors. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Yeah, that's what happens when you act like that. We have scenarios that cover almost everything, from traffic stops to approaching a parked vehicle in a parking lot, sitting in a diner like this one. You're just sitting there eating dinner, next thing you know it's being robbed. How would you do Anything else we can get for you today, sir? Okay, I'll just be back to check on you a little while. Thank you. scenario we had the option to de-escalate the situation in that instance there I met the deadly force with deadly force however in my commands the suspect started to comply I didn't have to go to deadly force and actually use my firearm in this instance here as I use my verbal skills he complied dropped his gun and complied and we all stayed safe it's just as important to have those skills as it is to have the firearm skills and remember all of your skills are perishable in this segment, we just want to show you some of the skills drills that we can have you work on. We can go into controlled pair drills, head-to-head -head drills, where you can bring a buddy in here, see who's faster, who's more accurate. We can do hostage drills, marksmanship drills. We can do match color dr colors drill. You know, we can do some quick skill drills, some transitional drills, reduction drills for timing, match target drill, and moving target drills. These all are going to really, really help you with your marksmanship. One of the things we talk about when we go into the controlled pairs, which I'll bring it up, is one of the things we have here is we have 30 different targets that we can, we can put up on the screen. We can do multiples of those targets. We can do four or five at a time. We can do the bad guy. We can do just plain targets that have no offense to them at all. Kind of a little bit of everything to meet everybody's needs. One of the things that we like to do are bring multiple targets up. One thing that we can do as you get better is we can decrease the size to make it much harder to shoot the target. We have everything in between. So if you're a really good shooter, we can bring it in so it's much, much smaller, much harder to hit. This is an example of having four targets on screen. In this example, you would have to engage all four targets in controlled pairs. That's an example of the drill right there. The quicker, the more accurate, the better. This is a great drill called the reaction tree. It allows you to work on skill and judgment. As you can see on the screen there, you have four silver steel plates. 
and then you have three with the red X's on top of that for a total of seven steel plates on the sample target there. As we start this scenario right here, this, this little drill, it's an excellent drill to work on for marksmanship and decision making during that marksmanship. I'll give you a quick run through just to show you how it works. you can see we can do a lot with this simulator everything from scenarios to shooting steel targets to shooting competition setups we invite you in see for yourself every class at Ridge 66 tactical has a money-back guarantee hundred percent money-back guarantee if we as instructors can't make it right we guarantee your happiness at Ridge 66 tactical we take training seriously do you